Friends, this is Kyle Swicegood with the Swicegood Group Auctions and Real Estate. And uh, it's seven o'clock this evening and we're having a free webinar and we appreciate you attending. Uh, we've got two special people with us on the webinar today. Uh, the first one is Becky Tarleton. Uh, Becky uh, is kind of our senior person with the Swicegood Group. She has been yeah. selling real estate at auction uh, for many more years than I have. And uh, she'll be speaking to us in just a little while. I uh, also want to uh, uh, say hello to Zach Johnson. Uh, Zach kind of wears the accolades of selling a, an entire mountain last week in Ash County. Uh, Zach has been with us now for the last two and a half years. And he comes from NASCAR, believe it or not. So we have got a great group of uh, folks that uh, we've kind of brought together. I was thinking today about the team at the Swicegood Group. Uh, we have got a fantastic group of people that get a lot of real estate and a lot of personal property done. So I'm going to turn it over to Zach to share with us the advantages of online auctions. Zach? Thanks, Kyle. And just two, two things. Uh, one of them is housekeeping. Uh, if anyone has a question in, during the webinar, feel free to type it in the chat uh, window, which you'll, you can find down at the bottom of the screen. There's a chat button. Uh, just type that in there. I'll monitor that throughout the evening and we'll, we'll make sure to get to those questions. Second thing is, Kyle, I don't think we gave Becky enough credit. You did not uh, refer to, hit, to her as a member of the uh, Auctioneers Association of North Carolina Hall of fame uh, that was this year so we are happy to have her well, it's actually a pleasure we, we weren't expecting her to be here tonight and Becky thank you so much for taking the time to, to do this with us uh, you bring a lot to the table and I'm looking forward to learning from you as well uh, as far as the uh, the auction uh, you know the advantages of online versus live uh, you know you think of uh, auctions in the past, you think of someone on maybe on the back of a pickup truck with a microphone, uh, you know, calling bids, and that still happens, and we still participate in auctions uh, such as those, but what we found is with technology uh, being what it is, we can reach a lot more uh, buyers for our sellers if we auction uh, property, whether it be real estate or personal property online. And there's just many advantages that go along with the ability to reach more people. One of the things uh, that I always tell folks is is think of the uh, worst auction you've been to as far as the weather, whether it be uh, 104 degrees in the middle of summer or whether it be pouring rain, uh, the weather plays a role. The location, uh, the parking, all of that plays a role in whether or not bidders want to show up on the day of the auction. Well, the, uh, the online auction kind of does away with all that. We allow bidders to bid from the comfort of their own home uh, using our, our mobile uh, application on telephone. It's as simple as swiping, uh, you know, from left to right to place a bid on an item. And what that does uh, is it just it lessens the barriers, uh, you know, of entry for, for buyers. Uh, and this webinar is going to be mostly focused towards uh, sellers, what sellers need to know about the personal property auction uh, the process that we do. Uh, but I believe buyers can also learn. Um, so if you're a buyer, Stick with us. Uh, don't leave us. You'll you'll get some nuggets out of this too. Um, I mentioned the uh, the process that we use with the mobile uh, uh, mobile app as well as the online bidding platform. Uh, believe it or not, we found that a lot of buyers give us feedback and say that they enjoy that process, just like they would enjoy going to a live auction and seeing the, the different people and, and witnessing the events of the day. Uh, they really enjoy the excitement of the online auction. I, I know my wife loves to go on eBay and buy little trinkets. And I asked her, I said, honey, why do, do we really need another salt and pepper shaker? And, and to her, just the excitement of the auction is what keeps her coming back for more and I know she's not alone. Um, one of the biggest advantages that we have with the, the online auction method, whether it be real estate or personal property, is just the amount of bidders uh, that we're able to reach. Uh, you know, think of it as, as a typical auction. You may have bidders show up from anywhere from 50 to 100 miles out is kind of your limit, unless you're selling very unique assets. Uh, you're really def uh, restricted by how many people are in your geographical area. Uh, a fun story that we like to tell is we actually had a bidder win a real estate auction of ours uh, on an airliner. 
30,000 feet up in the air. Uh, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. We have bitters from out of our country. Uh, and of course, we vet our, our bitters. We know they're real people. Um, we have their information. But all, the, all that does is create more uh, competition for the seller's items. Again, whether it's real estate, which I have experience with, or personal property, which Becky is uh, is the, tr the true leader on our team in personal property. And, and with that, Becky, can you uh, explain to the folks that are with us today and those that may be listening later, uh, when I say personal property, can you explain what that encompasses, what we sell, uh, and just give us the, the rundown of the personal property side of our business? Well, Zach, we sell everything. I, I, I cannot even think of one item that we cannot sell. I have sold koi fish out of the pond and I've sold a herd of cattle on the hill. Um, anything from inside the house, uh, in the yard, uh, to the barn. Uh, my favorite things, uh, of course, are tractors and trucks, uh, and I love guns, so uh, I, I kind of like that kind of thing, but uh, we do a lot of household downsizers, um, and we can sell anything. Um, I challenge somebody to tell me something that I can't sell, because I can, I can sell it. Well, Becky, that yeah, is absolutely. exactly right. And that's the lesson that you taught me early on as I came out of auction school. Uh, I'm used to a 30-year career in real estate, and I knew that I could take advantage of the auction method to represent sellers. Uh, but I'll never forget the first sale we did together. You proved that when we sold a koi fish out of a koi pond. And I said, that'll we never did. happen. And, uh, and, and you proved me wrong. Uh, a lot of people call and ask the question, hey, Kyle, where does the Swice Good Group reach? What's your marketplace? Uh, we have literally sold assets from Murphy to Manio, uh, from Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, to the Beltway in Washington, D.C. Uh, we uh, are kind of like the old uh, Western on TV, Have a Gun, Will Travel. Uh, we do not mind travel. And, and one of the things I'll tell you is the, the chemistry that we brought together in our company of both personal property and real estate. Uh, it, it's a hand in glove proposition. You know, one of the things we talked about today at the office is the booming baby boomers that are seeing the end of their life. And that is the largest population in America's history. And with them comes mom and dad's brick ranch, their home, uh, their personal property items. Uh, Becky's working on three right now that, that kind of mirror that description. But uh, what I will tell you is, is uh, this, if you have personal property, we'll come and take a look at the property and we'll make a determination if you do in fact have a personal property auction. Becky, what I would like for you to tell us is the, the timeline. Uh, from the time that I call you up and say, Becky, we've got to sell to the pickup day. Uh, and then after you talk about pickup, I'll talk about payment to the seller. Why don't you tell us about the timeline? The basic timeline varies because of the number of assets. Uh, I would say an average setup time would be five days. Uh, then we review the catalog, put it online. Um, usually stays online anywhere from 14 to 21 days. And our checkout usually lasts about one day. So if it's a very large auction, we may have a two day checkout. And we do that by appointment. So everybody's not there all at one time. Um, we do have a large uh, database that we work out of, of our own. And then we advertise uh, 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 through social media, mostly because the newspapers as everyone knows are pretty much done so um we come on site we uh we uh make a determination of how to go about to set the site to make it easy for the customers to preview easy for us to check out as as efficiently as possible and uh, we lot and tag everything photograph everything um, i always tell my crew you can't take too many photographs i want everybody to see everything that a lot of folks never come and actually see the item in person so I want a lot of photos and uh, I wanted to be able to be comfortable in their bidding. Beth asked the question what if a family member sells the top good items 
before the auctioneer is involved. Does that affect the overall uh, sale? How, how does that work, Becky? It will affect the overall sale because um, there are a lot of auctions going on and you want something, you want an item that's going to bring uh, the bidders to, to your auction. And if you sell off the, or cherry pick, a lot of folks say, if you take the best items away, there's nothing to bring them to the table to want to bid at your auction. So um, I feel like we're going to get the mark, best market price for that given day for any, for any item. And to take away from that and go ahead and sell it prior to the auction, it, it, they're hurting themselves um, overall. Mm -hmm. Before we talk about preview pickup and, 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 and that type of thing, I want to go back. Let's put it in reverse. A lot right. of times uh, you, you skipped over what I would say is some crucial uh, work points of the auction, which is the actual, I mean, what does lot tag photograph send to the web? What does that, I mean, talk about how that works organization as well. Well, <laughs> everybody, you included y'all laugh at me because as soon as I enter a room, my brain is already starting to calculate what is the best way to set this warehouse or set this uh, farm or whatever I walk into. I'm, my brain is already Go in fast forward. How am I going to do this? And I want to do it where not just where it's easy for us to come in and lot and tag, put the, put the photograph. I don't like a lot of stuff in my background. I don't like messy backgrounds. I like clean pictures. And so I, I, I'm already focusing on how I'm going to accomplish this. And while I'm doing this, I'm already thinking about how are we going to remove this great big safe out of this basement? Or, or how am I going to do, you know, I, I try to eliminate the problems before they exist, I guess. And so we come in there and we're going to try to organize as best we can and put things to where they're going to bring the most value for our seller, because we are working for the seller. And we, uh, we're going to, we're going to photograph each item, tag each item and try and, and monitor what we think is going to be the best way to market that item. Did that answer? I'm going to stop question? right there before okay. we, before we talk about the preview, because you just used a key word and that's marketing the, the auction. Um, you, you remember the old days, handbills is what they called them and newspaper advertising. And today in the digital world, we use a completely different methodology and mm. uh, some of you will laugh at it, but Facebook, Instagram, Google are some of our number one opportunities to market mm -hmm. um, on an average sale. We're going to have 45 to 65,000 views on our website. It's a numbers game. So <clears throat> what we do is there's a marketing budget and we get the uh, critical mass. We, we, we try to stop the marketplace by inundating Facebook, social media. And a lot of people say, well, I don't have Facebook. I promise you, we've had farmers who showed up who said, my wife told me about a tractor. That she <laughs> uh, tell us about preview, Becky. <clears throat> okay. Uh, on a preview day, we're going to we're gonna have an assigned time that folks can come and actually physically see, touch, uh, and look at, turn on a tractor, hear it run, you know. Um, so some folks will come. Uh, if you've got... I'm going to say if you have 300 bidders registered, you may have 100, 75 to 100 show up on preview day, maybe only 50 because they're confident in the, the value of the pictures. They're confident, com, they're, they feel comfortable to go ahead and bid. Uh, I think we have uh, gained that uh, confidence over our time because we take so many pictures and maybe I take too many pictures, but um, I want them to see every angle. I want them to see under, over, behind. I want them to know everything there is about the item, but but some folks do come on preview day and, uh, and they're welcome to look around and, and uh, ask questions and, uh, and do what they need to do. So to begin wrapping up this conversation, what I wanna to talk to you about is I, I'm assuming Beth, Angela, Dana, uh, your names are posted there. You may be a seller <clears throat> and you want to know, uh, are my assets going to bring market? The answer is yes. Number one. Number two, uh, we're, and I love the way my hair goes in. And out <laughs> here. Uh, 
I'm watching um, that myself. <laughs> no, number two, our bidding platform is created where if there's any last minute bidding, uh, that lot will be extended, which creates a live auction uh, digitally. Uh, and when the sale is done, uh, we basically correct, uh, collect the funds via credit card unless the bids are over $2,000. If they are, we require a certified check or wire funds. Uh, then we have a pickup and Becky and team, Ron, they have a, a team that shows up and manages your assets are protected throughout the entire process. And uh, then as a seller, we're going to deliver to you an itemized, essentially Excel spreadsheet of what each item sold for and what your net is. And by law, we're required to pay uh, our sellers within 28 days. And typically, uh, typically what we do is pay out to our sellers within a week. And one of the things I will tell sellers, don't, uh, you have to look at an auction when it's ending because we start most of our auctions out at a dollar. I mean, we've sold million dollar homes starting the bid out at a dollar and creating a, a, a buyer frenzy. So don't look at an auction that's got five days left and see a Chevrolet Silverado that's at $9,000 that you and I both know should be selling for 18. That day's coming and that's usually the last day of the auction. Uh, before I turn it back over to Zach, Becky, any other things that you want to uh, speak about as it relates? Uh, I would to like to. Um, I'm a second generation auctioneer. And I've been in the auction industry for 34 years, not counting the time I spent with my dad in his auction business. I started out in livestock, switched over to automobile. I am a bid caller. Uh, I spent most of my career as a bid caller. But you know, times change and you have to change with the times. And ladies and gentlemen, the time for the auction is online bidding. And all of our items are in real time. From the time they get online, Till the last second in the hammer falls it's all live and you can look at your item that you're bidding on and it's in real time and you know exactly what's left on that time limit and let me tell you somebody's not going to sneak it away from you because if they bid in that last five minutes we're going to extend that bidding for another three minutes and you have an opportunity to bid again it's a great way to sell your assets who was the first automobile live auctioneer in north carolina I don't know. I believe it was you, was it not? First female. Female. Yeah. <laughs> that, I, should have, I should have used the word female. You're correct. Yeah. I, I am the only female car auctioneer in North Carolina. Yes. Yeah. Becky is uh, not only that, she is a state bid calling champion as well as a Hall of Fame inductee this year, in fact. Zach, yeah. uh, close us out if you would. Yeah, absolutely. One thing I wanted to touch on was uh, what Becky mentioned earlier about the the our bidders uh, or you know folks that have dealt with us before they're confident in our auctions number one because we do a great job of representing the items uh, that we sell but number two uh, because we have a track record of being a professional auction company uh, all all the three people you see on this uh, page here are all members of the National Auctioneers Association. We're all members of the Auction Auctioneers Association of North Carolina, uh, which just being a member says that you're willing to subscribe to a, a, a higher, um, not saying that we have a code of ethics that other auctioneers don't, but we strive to be the most professional uh, in, in leading edge auctioneers, uh, not only in North Carolina, but in uh, South Carolina and Virginia as well. And really we work with auctioneers and we have networks uh, nationwide, uh, worldwide. Uh, I did want to say, I did get an email just now. There were two bidders that are two uh, registrants for this webinar that couldn't be with us. Um, so it's, it's great that we are recording this. I don't see any questions in the chat. What I'm going to do is copy and paste, and I should have done this already. Uh, I'm gonna copy and paste the contact info for Kyle, uh, Becky, and myself. Everyone should be able to see that. What I'm also going to do is when the uh, webinar is over, I'm gonna email uh, every, registrant again a copy of this video and a, a feedback form it's just a simple form on our website uh, 
you know, saying, Hey, how, how'd you like it? How'd we do? What could we do better? Your, your simple feedback. And really that does help that will shape and craft this webinar series moving forward. Uh, we did hope for more folks tonight, but, but again, these uh, videos will live on in perpetuity uh, and will help bidders um, for, for a while now. I did see a question coming. Kyle, you want to read that and answer yeah, that? From uh, Dana? The question is how many average bidders do we have for uh, real estate and how many average do we have for personal property? I'll answer the real estate. Zach, you actually can answer that. How many did we have on the mountain uh, last week? Yeah, from uh, we had 57 bidders from seven different states, and that was a 40 acre, uh, 40 combined acres sold in multiple tracks up in Ash County. Um, but really, all it takes is two bidders to have an auction. But obviously, the more the merrier. Personal property blows that out of the water. Becky, what, what's the highest, some of the highest numbers you've seen, uh, and what do we average typically on a, a personal property auction? An average personal property auction, we're going to probably have around 400 active bidders. Uh, and with, with that, probably around 100 to 150 winners. Uh, most of the winners will have multiple items. Uh, the most we've had, we, we had 44 states represented and uh, something like, a, what was it, like 1,400 bidders, Kyle? It was, it was well, over a th well over that thousand mark. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's been it's been more than a minute, so I forgot. But but we do cover a massive area, and we have had international bidders as well as uh, out of state bidders, and we uh, work with them on their shipping and helping them get uh, situated on their shipping. So we welcome all bidders from everywhere. Guys, I want to thank you, think you the, all for. Go ahead, Zach. I didn't mean to interrupt my friend. I don't want to leave Dana out in the chat. If you look, uh, Dana Mason, as the owner of the item selling, can you advise how the taxes are filed? Uh, would that be taxes paid by the Swiska Group or the original owner? Kyle, you handle most of the uh, paperwork side of the Dana, business. Can you answer that? Dana, a law actually changed uh, about a year ago <clears throat> to where we are recording required even on estate auctions to charge sales tax. And so on the invoice, we charge sales tax, we collect that, and we pay that to uh, Uncle Sam, state of North Carolina. Uh, so it's a good question. Uh, unfortunately, we have to pay sales tax now with estate auctions. Any other questions? I don't want to rush this. Yeah, absolutely. And to clarify, that is paid by the buyer. Um, you know, we, we charge that sales tax to the buyer that's part of their high bid that's that's correct yep any other questions we got a thank you from dana uh dana we appreciate uh your question and your interest and i will tell all of you we're probably going to repeat this again for next month because i really believe personal property uh is an, it's an important part of what we do and again it's it's that hand in glove uh concept that we're dealing with mom and dad's estate uh, and there's children who inherit property and they've got this valuable piece of real estate mm -hmm. and they don't know what to do because there's so many things, so many uh, valuables, so many collectibles that mom and dad have, and they need a solution. And, and I was thinking about that word. I'll end it with this. I'm convinced that our company is a solution company for people in that situation. And it's a good solution because we bring market value for both personal property and real property. God bless all of you. Uh, and I want to say this as a matter of, of patriotism. Uh, God bless our country and uh, what's going on in Afghanistan and those men and women who are standing the wall in a very bad situation. Guys, thanks for coming. I'm going to cut the recorder off.